Hello, good evening. Welcome back to the garage, but more importantly, welcome back to my new high-tech putting area that I've set up inside my garage. Look at that, eh? Absolute Bobby Dazzler, that. Now, in tonight's video, we're going to be using this. This is the iPing 2.0 app, as found on Apple Marketplace, and it's a real good putting fitting tool that we use at Kingswood Golf Centre, and more importantly, what I use myself all the time. So, let's see if, one, I've got the correct putter, and let's see how I can improve my technique while there's no else going, really. So, I'm looking forward to this. Let's get into it. Just before we get into today's video as well, I did put out a message on yesterday's video, the Facebook Marketplace £100 challenge, and I had a set of clubs sent through from Matthew Adorno. I'll put that image on right now. He's an American chap, as I'm guessing by the currency, but he's come to the same value as what I did, 105, and he's got a right set. The pick of the bunch being this Odyssey white hot putter that he's picked up for $30, original white hot insert, and, and it's got like a new Odyssey head cover on it as well, so that is absolutely mint. Well done, Matt. Cracking set of clubs. Right, okay, so first things first, welcome back to the channel. My name's Jack, this is Jack Lee Golf. If in case you're wondering what this setup is that I've got going off here, it's a 10 foot putting mat, and it's right in the middle of my garage. And it's, it's proper good because it means that I can still do putting content while we're in this crazy lockdown period. So like I said, in tonight's video, so like I said, in tonight's video, we're using the iPing putting app. This is like the second incarnation of this app because I first had it when it first came out and since they've changed it, so it's got some like really, really cool features on it now. We've got three sections to this app, as you can see on screen now. We've got the advanced fit, which is what I'm gonna do for the majority of this video. We've got the fit for stroke, which is a super simple three putt process, I think it is, where you hit three putts and it tells you what kind of head design or what kind of putter you need for your stroke type. And then we've got the practice element, which we'll also be looking at a little bit later on. So let's start with this advanced fit and let's run you through kind of what we need to do. So it's got me information already. Let's scroll it through. Height, six foot, you measure your wrist to floor. This is a good thing to measure when it comes to length of putter. Uh, my posture when I'm putting is quite crouched, so I pop that one in there. Uh, grip style, it changes from putt to putt, no joke. But tonight I'm gonna stick with conventional, just to keep it super easy. My tendency, I miss to the right more than often, so let's change that. Green speed's moderate, play on fast and, and slow. Speed performance, I don't need help on short putts, but I could potentially do a little bit of help on long putts, so let's change that to, to that one there. Right then, initial session. So let's get this phone clipped onto my putter. Now the way that you do that is by attaching this ping device cradle that I was kindly given. You clip it on so that your phone is centered within this cradle, just like that. And then you stick it on your putter as close to the grip end as what you can do. I think it's going to be about there for me because this is quite a thick shafted putter. Make sure it's all lined up like so. Can you see that? And then I think we're good to go. A couple of things we're going to determine from this test. Is this putter right for me, first and foremost? What am I doing um, that might not be benefiting me when it comes to my technique? And are there any putters out there that will suit me more than this bad boy? So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, five putts, I believe it is. Right then, so let's have a look at the data we've just collected with those five putts that I hit on the iPing app. So it's very generous, they give me a putting handicap of 1.6. This is not the first time I've done this today, so I've had a couple of practice runs to get it down to 1.6. Um, you will see that it's colour coded in all these different areas, so green being good. You also have amber, which is like average, I think it's around 10 to 20 handicap, and then you have red, which is 20 plus. So let's firstly look at my stroke type. So it's saying that I'm very much a straight back and through type putter. I don't see much opening and closing of that face through impact, only 2.2 degrees. And in that section, it's given me a ping putting handicap of 3.5. Next, when we come to the impact angle, this is probably the best parameter out of all these that I've shown. So uh, I very consistently, so if you look at all these five blue dots that you can see as well, that's your different putts. And the closer you can get that grouping together, that is how consistent you are. Obviously, wider spread of blue dots, least consistent, closer spread, more consistent. So in this instance, I'm really good at delivering that club face square from where it started, basically. Only minus 0.4 degrees closed on average, but you can see that there's a lot of them grouped very close to square. Next, we'll look at tempo. Tempo is different for all types of people. You, you see some real nice, long, languid putting strokes, you also see some quick ones like Branson and Nicker. I think I tend to be more on the quick side, but when it comes to consistency again, it's going to be a putting handicap of 1.3, so I'm happy with that. 
lie angle. Now it says as an ideal, you want to have this 20 degrees upright, uh, 20 degrees flat from vertical, sorry. So you want to be delivering a lie angle with a putter which is about 70 degrees. On average, I'm on the flat side. So we could alter this putter to ensure that I get it somewhere up to 70 degrees, either by bending the neck or changing the length of the shaft. But as you can see again with the consistency, I'm pretty good at that. Come out with a putting handicap of 3.9. Shaffling, although consistency is not quite there, on average, I am 0.2 degrees from neutral. Yeah, so we've got somewhere I slightly de-loft it, somewhere I had a little bit of loft, but in this parameter, this is kind of suggesting that the loft on that putter is right for me. So that is a bonus. If you were someone where we see hands back quite a lot, we'd want to take a bit of loft off the putter. If you're someone that delivers the handle quite a long way forward, then we'd have to add a little bit of loft to ensure that we get you back to zero. What I'm going to do now is compare this to my little funky street golf putter. This was the one it was showcased in a different video that I did and I stole this from a primary school. Comparing it to my Odyssey, it's very similar in length, probably just about half an inch, quarter of an inch shorter. Head design's obviously different, so we're going from a mallet to a blade. And the shaft's also different. This is steel wears, this one's graphite. Grip's pretty similar size, so, so yeah. I'm gonna have five putts with this and compare, see if this is any better for me or worse than this. I don't know what it's gonna be better for me out of these two, personally. I ain't got a clue because it's been that long since I've had a putter fitting, so let's have a look. Right, this one is now so calibrated. Let's give it a go. Right then, so let's have a look how the street golf putter compares. So, when it comes to closing angle, I think the consistency was actually a little bit better. Still very much on a straight arc. When we look at the impact angle, I'm slightly more closed on average than I was with my Odyssey. So it's gone from 0.5 to 0.9. However, the consistency is very good again. I'm at like a plus handicap for both of those first two. Tempo, extremely consistent, plus 4.2 in that section. Overall, it gave me an handicap of plus 0.7, which I'm quite happy with. Lie angle again is a little bit flat. So perhaps suggesting that I need a, a longer putter in order to get a little bit more this way, as opposed to me being a bit more down here. Shaffling at impact, the tendency is to be slightly adding loft with this putter compared to mine, where the tendency was to take a little bit of loft off. When we pull these two side by side, you can now see that my handicap was actually better with the street golf on than it was the Odyssey two ball, which is worrying. But we can see a lot of green, which is very positive for me considering that I've not put it in two months whatever it's been I'm quite happy with that any standout differences between the two tempo is a lot more improved with the street golf one graphite shaft might make any difference there that's weird and the consistency of me delivering that face was also quite a big difference you're looking at like a four handicap difference there we've gone from 3.5 with my two ball to plus 0.5 with that street golf one so we might be seeing a radical change next time we look at what's in the bag potentially right then so i'm now going to show you a page which it's brought me to after doing this little bit of a fitting process this is my configured specifications page it's going to give me a bit of an inkling as to what kind of length weight line angle all that kind of stuff that i need so it's saying that i need a straight arc stroke type putter so that's a face balance type putter a little bit like this one Length is saying 33 inches, so I would usually have it at 34, so that's quite interesting. Weight-wise, it said out oh, in between 365 and 375 grams. Not quite sure how much of a difference uh, head weight is making into my technique. I will do more research on that for future videos. Lie angle, it's giving me a slightly flatter lie angle, I do believe. So it's giving me orange, whereas I think black is the standard one. So considering my setup, me being quite crouched and that kind of idea, it's giving me a flatter lie angle. And loft it's saying around three degrees, so that's a, a very standard um, loft to have on a putter. So that is all very interesting. Right, so that's the advanced fitting part of the iPing 2.0 app. Next, we're going to look at the fit for stroke part. This is only three putts, and it's a more shallow kind of advanced fit, really. So I'll show you what I mean. Right then, so basically, as you can see on screen now, this is just a less uh, in-depth version of the advanced fitting that we did. So it's bringing me up the same answers, which is good. So we're seeing some consistency from the app in that sense. And it's just kind of showing us what we've seen in the advanced fitting. So it's fitting me as a straight putter type, uh, giving me a brown line angle, which is again a little bit flatter, a couple of degrees, loft, three degrees again. And all the parameters as I'm running through now are very similar as to what we've got with the advanced fit. So all well and good. Right now, lastly, I'm gonna show you the practice element of this app. 
and basically it just takes you through a few things that we've been speaking about earlier. So we've got closing angle, which is uh, how much the toe wants to rotate open and closed again. Impact angle, so that's from a start, how much do you alter that face orientation when it comes to impact? So you've been seeing with my numbers, I'm only 0.7, I think was the wildest that I got with mine. So that's starting at zero, how much do you manipulate it open and closed from there? Also looking at tempo, so again, me being quite a quick tempo putter, lie angle, I tend to be a little bit flatter, and shuffling is how much back your hands are at impact, how much forward your hands are at impact. So all these aspects are things that we can improve on. There are ideals in all of these. We'll see where I'm at again, and we'll see how close to the, all these ideals we can get. So there you go, you saw some examples just in that little clip there of how I was just trying to change a few things between stroke to stroke and how the app was picking up on it. The main thing that I was trying to change if you didn't notice was uh, my lie angle. So I got it to 20 degrees from vertical. So I started delivering that putter at a 70 degree lie angle which is what the app suggests is optimum. One of my favorite things about this app is that there kind of is no optimum. So if you are someone who can repeat what you're doing every time that's when you tend to get the best putting handicap so i know the guys at ping when they do the information um videos when it comes to this kind of app they say that the instrument can always be tuned to the player in in a putting case which i, I quite like that idea so there you go that's all three aspects of the iPing 2.0 putting app when we do get back up and running at kingswood golf center we will be using this so if you would like a putter fit in make sure you're contacting me via the information in the description below all my contact stuff there if you'd like to see me do more videos in this little putting area that i've created well i say i've created my mum cleared the garage out and i put a putting mat down so sadly my good work but if you'd like to see me do more videos here please let me know in the comment section below and if you'd like to see me use this ping iPing 2.0 app a little bit more often also let me know in the comments below that is pretty much it for me today hope you've enjoyed this video a little bit of a different one um stay tuned for tomorrow's video stay indoors stay safe laters see you tomorrow that's a motorbike. Bye.